what's up guys welcome to apex in this video i'm really excited to share this all new update i have received on the galaxy s22 ultra samsung has started rolling out the beta 3 for the one ui 5.0 in most of the regions and here in my region it says it's beta 2 however all the features that are listed in beta 3 in the other regions are available on beta 2 right here on this device because the first beta that i received included all those features which were on beta 2 in some other regions so this beta 2 here on this phone is the same as beta 3 in some of the other regions so let's dive in and see all those new features new changes which have been added on this beta version of one ui 5.0 I'm going to share some cool exciting features for you guys so keep watching the video the first one is a brand new customization feature for lock screen now we can just press and hold on the lock screen and unlock the device which will directly take us to lock screen customization options as you can see we have got wallpapers on the top left corner and we have got set option on the right and then we have got this clock notifications and at the bottom we have contact information and the application shortcuts at the bottom left and bottom right corner all these can be customized right from here let me just tap on the clock here as you can see we have got all these clock styles here we can also set the colors right from here we have got some solid and gradient color options here you can also see we have got different font options here you can select the font you want and if you want to increase the size of this clock you can increase it right here this is fantastic we have got this cool new customization feature on one ui 5.0 now you must be wondering you have seen this particular feature on some other phone as well you are right that is the iphone when you press and hold on the iphone's home screen on ios 16 it will take us directly to the lock screen customization feature which apple recently added anyways now let's move on i will tap on wallpapers here we have got featured wallpapers right on top and then we have got gallery option we can scroll through these folders here and then samsung has also added some cool new wallpapers here we've got some graphical style and we have got some solid and gradient colors right here these are some beautiful looking wallpapers samsung has added these colors look really fantastic and right after that we have got wallpaper services we have dynamic lock screen and samsung global goals and then if you have downloaded any wallpapers from the galaxy theme store it will appear right here so this entire wallpaper customization option has been revamped and now this looks refreshing and at the same time it is very intuitive to set the wallpapers and customize your lock screen now let's go back here at the bottom i'll tap on the shortcut now you see we have a list of applications which can be set for the shortcut uh, on the top we have no unlock needed applications like calculator camera do not disturb option torch and voice recorder these are the five options which can be accessed without unlocking your phone and then comes the rest of the applications you can set any application you want for the left shortcut likewise we can tap on the right shortcut and select the application or the shortcut that you need now let's go back now let's tap on this notifications to customize it as you can see again a window pops up we choose icons only option and details option if you select details you can increase or decrease the transparency right here and we also have auto reverse text color toggle right here at the bottom let's go back now let me just again tap on this clock style as you can see if i select this clock here this will take us to the clock face module from good lock if you have installed clock face module from good lock you will be able to see this option it has been integrated right into the lock screen customization feature you can add any of those clock faces from this module and customize it right here now let's go back once you're done customizing it you can just tap on set now let me just press and hold on the home screen to open these options as you can see we have wallpaper and style which was already there i will just tap on this now if i tap on browse my wallpapers here it is going to take me to the same menu now here what i'll do is i will tap on the home screen wallpaper option now here we have got an option to add images from the gallery for the home screen and we also have filter option here let me just tap on filter as you can see we have different filter for the wallpaper which can be applied now apparently these filters seems to be very subtle i don't see much of a change happening when i select them uh, except for the last two as you can see this grayscale filter when i select it turns the wallpaper into grayscale and the previous one says soft and it makes the image a bit brighter now let's go back now when we tap on browse my wallpapers here we can access the same menu right here as well 
All right, that is the first major change that we have on this beta version of One UI. It's a brilliant feature Samsung has added. Now let me show you the rest of the changes we have. Let me open gallery. Now here there is some changes, some improvements in the album section. As you can see, we have got my albums tab on the top and then we have got shared album. We also have view all option here. That's a minor change we have inside the gallery application. Now let's go to settings. I'll tap on battery and device care. Now here you see we have got auto optimization options sitting right here under additional care. Earlier we only had software update diagnostics and maintenance mode here. Now Samsung has added auto optimization right here which was earlier on a different menu. Now let's move to the next important change we have got with this beta. Now if you have received this latest beta version and if you go to the settings and search for Bixby routines, you are not going to find it. Because now Samsung has made some changes there. Now we have got this all new menu option called modes. You will nowhere see Bixby routines, you will only see this modes. As you can see on the settings menu, after connections and connected devices, the next menu option you are going to see is modes. Let me just tap on modes. Here we have got all those modes and routines. This is the new Bixby routine menu we have. Now this new naming seems to be pretty cool. We don't have Bixby routines now. It has been completely renamed as modes. You let me know what do you think about this all new naming for Bixby routines. Do drop a comment. Apart from these features, there are loads of bugs which have been fixed by Samsung with this beta. In the change log, it talks about many bugs which have been fixed. As you can see, it says fixed issues with adding gallery widget to home screen, fixed home screen return animation, fixed animation overlap when closing folders, fix the issue with IMS service stop pop-up appearing after a software update, fix the issue with not being able to exit the application with gestures while running multiple apps on the lock screen. This is something which I've been facing whenever I'm on a call. I don't get to use the gestures on the lock screen. I'm sure many of you guys would have noticed this. Now this error has been fixed. And then it also says fix the issue with changing calendar widget transparency, fix the issue with very small text displayed on the app icons. These are some of the fixes that we have got with this all new beta. Now as far as the animations are concerned, there is some minor improvements but I still feel it needs a lot of improvement. The transitions are not smooth. Whenever we open the app and close the app, it doesn't really look that great. It still looks as if it is stuttering while getting back to its original position. That is something which Samsung has to fix. It should look smooth. I really wish all these animations become much much smoother, at the same time snappier as well. These are the changes and improvements we have got with this all new beta. If you have received it, if you have noticed any other additional changes or features, do share it in the comment section below and be sure you subscribe to the channel to watch some useful contents like this. And if you want to know your phone better, this is the channel you should subscribe to. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salih. I'm signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.